would say a bit rough compared to the first one, but I can't tell the difference. So it, the problem that we've been asking is, how do you judge textures? And can we get a robot to do the same thing? If you have ever had your fingers so numb from the cold that you couldn't feel things, uh, your hands are almost useless. Even though your muscles are perfectly functional, if you can't feel what you're touching, it slips, you can't identify things, it's as if your hands are paralyzed. Uh, and so by adding tactile sensing to prosthetic hands, we can overcome that problem and start to have prosthetic hands that really do have some functionality. So the BioTac is a fluid-filled fingertip that's the same size as the human finger. We've also implemented fingerprints on the surface of the BioTac so that it uh, is able to sense textures the same way that humans can. And in particular, it's very good at picking up the vibrations that you actually get as you run your finger over different textured surfaces. And those patterns of vibrations are what you use to identify, say, a piece of cotton from a piece of wool. Syntouch is a startup company that I and several of the people in my laboratory started to develop the tactile sensing technology. The hard part of the problem is replacing the stuff between the ears of a human observer, not their fingers. When humans explore objects by touch, there are a great number of exploratory movements that you can make. For instance, you can grasp the object to figure out its shape or explore it to figure out its texture. So you have to make intelligent decisions about which movements would give you the most information, which is what we've done with Bayesian exploration. So in our experiments, we used 117 different textures. Uh, what the algorithm does is it first makes one exploratory movement, and from that information, it determines that it could be a number of textures. And with these types of intelligent strategies, uh, we were able to obtain a 95% classification accuracy. Well, I'm excited because it's a new class of device. Um, it's a difficult problem because when you build a new capability, a disruptive technology, you don't already have pre-existing markets. There are no tactile sensors on prosthetic hands or on industrial robots because there haven't been any sensors. So coming up with the applications, the algorithms, the kinds of work that we're producing in this paper are the opportunity now to do things that have never been done before.